Yeah, thank you very much, uh, everyone. Uh, it's glad to, I'm super excited and very glad to be here. It's uh, no conferences have that special vibe in them uh, that uh, I, you feel from the very first second you join. Uh, it's um, it's very special. It's uh, it's different from from all the other conferences, online or offline, and uh, we know that firsthand because last year we're actually hosting and I was leading those conferences. So Tim, I was in your shoes and uh, I'm glad to be here again this year on a different one as a, as a guest. And uh, hopefully I'll have some things to tell uh, that will be useful for all of you guys, regardless of where you are on your no code journey. And uh, today I'm going to tell about myself. Uh, some of you may know me, some of you may most probably most of you uh, don't. So I'll uh, start with an intro. I'll tell about what I do. I'll tell about what we do at Zero Code. And then I'll share our lessons that we have learned the hard way. And hopefully some of you can leverage to uh, save a bit of time and, and be much more efficient in where you are on your no-code journey. So uh, yeah, I prepared a bit of a slide for you guys so that uh, we would make this interactive. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So, Hopefully you're able to see this. Let me know if you don't, hopefully you do. Uh, and um, the the deck is actually a bit um, clickbait, I would say so. Uh, three main answers after five years of zero coding. Sounds like one of these nine tips for this or 10 steps for that kind of thing, but it really is true because there's definitely a lot of answers and a lot of questions to uh, how to zero code, how to lead uh, and uh, start a business in zero code world. And uh, there's probably, you know, less, <laughs> more of those than anyone can ever cover in a single conference and uh, even more so in a single speech. But I tried to find the, the three main ones, which are probably something that worries uh, pretty much everyone who steps on um, the no code uh, platform after the first time and kind of gets into it. So uh, without further ado, let me get into that as well. All right. So just a quick one. Let me double check to make sure you do see it. Yeah, perfect. Um, looks like everyone is on board. So let's get started. So first of all, who am I? Uh, why am I telling you all these things? And uh, uh, what have I been busy with recently? So uh, my name is Vlad. As the, the slide says, and as the um, as Tim has introduced me, I am the co-founder of Zero Code. Uh, I'll tell you about what Zero Code is in a second, but all in all, I'm in the no-code world or no-code system for the last six years, actually, already, uh, a bit more than that, and uh, in, in different qualities and in different positions. Um, I am originally from Uzbekistan. This is a country in Central Asia. I'm currently living and working in Chisinau, Moldova, which is a country in Eastern Europe. And we're mostly working with um, the United States and Western Europe and pretty much all over the world. But most of our customers and most of our partners are actually in this, those countries. So that's the geography. Uh, my background, uh, as uh, you know, as, as it may be very diverse for people that are stepping into the no-code world, I'm a telecommunications engineer. Um, I've studied networks and you know transmitting signals, receiving them on antennas, and all that stuff, which uh, you know. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of actually using in my everyday uh, work right now. Uh, I've also been working for uh, quite a few years as a project manager in the um, um, IT industry. Uh, over 10 years, I've been working in big corporations, um, managing projects, doing systems engineering, and my tool of choice and the tool of choice of uh, my company is Bubble.io, which some of you have mentioned already in the previous speeches. So, okay, enough about me. What about zero code? So what's what's that, and uh, why am I why do I sound so excited about it? Zero code is the uh, the product that I have created with my partner um, and uh, my, my co-founder Livon. Livon uh, zero code has grown to be a suit of no code products and services for launching your ideas fast and easy. Written right here, I just wrote uh, read it out for you out loud. Uh, but what it really is is basically a, is a collection of um, a variety of tools for people on the various stages of their no-code journey. We have a ton of stuff for people that are just getting started. And in fact, a lot of people have learned about no-code and Bubble in particular through us. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of tools for people who are well um, 
you know, on their way, and say, let's say so, in, on the, in their journey, meaning uh, they've already, you know, got the, the first taste of it, they've tried it out, they've, they've figured out that there's a particular tool that they like, and that there's something that actually works for them. Uh, and uh, we have a ton of stuff for you guys as well. And lastly, we have uh, tools, courses, and services for people who are pretty much advanced uh, in, in where they are right now. Uh, though that consists of um, a variety of application templates, what that means is basically it's a working application that is, uh, let's say, looking like Airbnb or Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever. Uh, actually, yeah, we're current, we're always expanding our portfolio. And you take it and you edit it without code and you pretty much can do anything with it. You can change the visuals, you can change the text, you can change the pictures, you can change the logic, what's most important, and all of that without code. And you basically drive that template to whatever you want the uh, your application to look like. So let's say, your app is similar to Airbnb, but it is for web conferences or I don't know, uh, rooms with a lot of echo. So uh, and uh, instead of creating that all from scratch, you basically take an Airbnb template, you edit it, and there you go. Uh, your um, your product is literally live in a few hours. So this is what we do. Uh, the plugins, on the other hand, are something that enhances your no-code application, bubble application to be precise, with a specific functionality. To make it you know work the way you would want it to or look the way you want it to but uh not to get into a lot of too much of these details right now let's get to uh, you know the the lessons that we've learned and why is zero code what it is uh because that's actually all very much interconnected and the story of why we're doing template services and plugins is actually the story of our lessons learned on the way because we actually actually started uh from a, absolutely different beginnings and uh Without further ado, let's get started. So how to earn money in a no-code world? I believe that this is a question that most of you are, you know, uh, thinking about. And, and this is uh, regardless of the level of your passion towards zero code, uh, no doubt that this crosses everyone's mind, meaning that people are, um, uh, are really um, excited about uh, what you can do with zero code, but they're even more excited about what value they can bring, what value they can get in return. And basically, uh, 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 if you do something, but you don't get money for it, it's not a business, that's a hobby at most, uh, or, or a passion uh, at worst. Uh, so uh, where do you actually, how do you monetize your no coding? So we, of course, ask the set that very same question. The discovery of the possibilities of no code tools was, um, immense for us so we realized that there's a lot of things we can do but then we were a little lost on on okay but what do we do do meaning there's like a million different things you can do with no code and i bet that a lot of you are asking the same questions wondering where do you get started and um so we have done the dirty work for you we've done the work for you and we figured out that without uh this is something that it worked for us uh, and by the way a disclaimer so uh, the lessons that i'm sharing are lessons that we have found and we have lived through and um, and, and figured out but for uh, for those of you who are starting from different places or are having a different backgrounds they may or may not work exactly the same way they did for us but i'm i'm betting that for most of you uh, who are probably just getting started um i'm sure that uh, a lot of them if not all of them will be very valuable so where to earn money in the no code world so um there's really three different ways which are all interconnected of how you can actually learn money in no-code world. Uh, they are the no-code education, there are no-code products, and custom development. What are each of those? So, uh, but to to get to uh, the discussion of all of these three and explain why they're so interconnected and there's there's zero in the middle, let me tell you a bit about our own background and how we actually started and how did we come to this. So. When we started Zero Code, we were actually doing no code consulting, which is kind of an education, but we were basically selling our time uh, coaching other people how to do no code, and which was great. So we were, you know, there's there's a saying that there's no better way of learning something than teaching it. So this was a great beginning for, for us, uh, you know, having to explore certain topics that we may not have necessarily stumbled upon ourselves, but we 
had to kind of go through them to uh, find out the solution for other people which are paying, which were paying us money for that. So, and that was great and fine. So we were getting started very early on. Uh, you know, nowadays, uh, no code is in a totally different place, place from where it was like five, six years ago. Uh, there's a lot less skepticism and a lot more people are exposed to it. So this uh, no code consulting will actually be probably the easiest way to for you to get started to monetize it in some way. Uh, so set our hourly rates, uh, start from something uh, humble in the beginning, learn your way through it, earn your reputation, and in no time you will have uh, you know more orders that you can uh, than you can um, process actually. And where to look for those, I will share in my next step. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, let me uh, tell you a bit more about our discovery. So we were kind of in the no-code education um, uh, sector right here, but not quite because uh, we were selling our time and that's uh, for us, this was not something that was very scalable. So uh, meaning that we can only charge so much money for people that are just getting started, right? And we can only, we only have 24 hours in a day. So there's always a cap of what you can learn by consulting. Great way to get started, fantastic way to train and hone your skills. But for us, we found that to be somewhat limiting to the uh, um, the upside of what we can earn with the um, no code. So um, very quickly, we actually transitioned to custom development sector, uh, meaning that we were not really doing much consulting, but instead we were doing projects for people, turnkey projects, meaning that when a person was coming to us and saying, hey, um, and this is actually something that may very well come naturally, meaning some people may initially come to you and say, hey, um, I need help in, in doing this. And uh, you may coach them, you may explain it to them, but in the end, a lot of these people will actually propose you to do it for them. So let's say, just tell me how much uh, you will need um, how much time you will need and I'm, I'm happy to pay that to you so you can do it for me in two hours for example instead of you coaching me for 20 hours um, that, that there'll be a lot of those uh, cases and this uh, this is what has happened to us and we have kind of um, segued directly from the education to custom development but that's very much interconnected so a lot of our customers and custom development actually came from no coach education uh, so uh, we started doing that and we recommend that for all of you too because there's a lot of demand on the market there's a lot of people that are wondering if they can do things faster and cheaper than hiring looking for and working with traditional developers and this is where the no code shines at least uh, the the platform that we choose to start with the bubble platform it is an amazing ubiquitous universal platform that can build pretty much anything uh, and and this is you know this is its forte and this is what we explored to the most uh, when we were um, just getting started. So we, we started slowly to look for customers, to, to find customers, to pitch it to customers. There has been a lot of discoveries there and I'm going to be sharing them in the second part of my uh, pitch where I'll be telling where exactly to yes, look for customers and where not to look for customers. There's our, uh, both are very important. And I'm not sure which one is more important than that, but we have explored both of these for you. So custom development is another uh, topic that can earn very good cash. So uh, for you early on and later on as well. So we're still doing that. We're still um, doing uh, interesting projects and that's great in a lot of ways. That builds your portfolio, that builds your skill, that builds your trust with the clients. You kind of create your own name with actions, not only with words when you do some great things uh, with no code uh, tool of your choice and uh, Sooner, uh, yeah, before you know it, uh, people in the community know you. Uh, if people are happy with your services, they're referring them to you. And uh, that kind of goes very well with no code education. But the third uh, circle about no code products is something that we slided on uh, to pretty, uh, pretty early on as well. So we wanted to scale. We wanted something that would run and, um, and basically to not be directly tied to our time. Um, both with no code consulting and no code custom development uh, it was always limited to amount of people to amount of hours and the hourly rate that we could charge uh, with the no code products it's pretty much uh, available and it's pretty much scalable much further and it depends on the amount of people that you attract the amount of value you deliver that equals to price and uh, basically if a million people buy their one dollar product don't do that but just for the sake of the simplicity, don't sell $1 products. Uh, but let's say it's a $1 products, bam, you have your own first million dollars. And, uh, but uh, yeah, don't don't go with $1 products, please. Uh, um, so this is what we thought. And uh, we have actually created the, 
the product that uh, didn't yet exist on the specifically on bubble um, uh, ecosystem we have created no code templates we were very passionate about it uh, the the creators of the platform were not so passionate about it in the beginning so we had to pitch to them we had to prove them we had to show them that okay that's that actually has potential and people are actually interested in buying that so uh, we were kind of doing the mvp within the the mvp platform if you if you, if you will uh, and after we have actually shown them there is genuine interest from, from people in the uh, no code bubble community to bubble templates uh, that actually worked. Right now, Bubble Templates is a large growing marketplace. And, and I believe that there's like around 100 agencies right now, which are offering both custom development services. And a lot of them, if not most of them, are actually also developing no code products, kind of following our tracks. And uh, you might be one of those agencies that are both doing development and are also developing templates uh, or plugins. So uh, that worked. Uh, and that's uh, it's it has a uh, a steeper curve uh, or a longer curve, if you will, uh, meaning with custom development or consulting, you can uh, cash in pretty fast. So you, you basically sell an hour, get money immediately with products. It's not that straightforward most of the time, meaning you get a product out there, you put a lot of work in it, and then it may flop. It may not sell all that well in the beginning, but in the long run, this is actually something that you, uh, you won't want to be because this is something that works while you sleep and 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 sells uh, you know regardless of whether you're actively working or not working at all so um this is where probably uh most of you would want to be but to get there you would probably have to step through the education and custom development part and the part of it and why they're all interconnected is that all of these businesses and all of these sides of a business are actually powering one another so a person comes in with an initial interest in education and he might get a template, which is no code product, and then he might tinker with it. And then he might get a custom development package, which is something that you're selling to them and on Linux. And then he might be interested in another no code product and then he may buy it from you as well. And then you may educate him and sell him some more um, custom development. Basically, uh, th those three branches of business are self-sustaining on their own, but they're also empowering one another, kind of making it all better together so uh this is what we um we found out for ourselves this is what has been working for us pretty pretty well and this is what we believe that more people should explore and try out um yeah so this is kind of where you earn money and besides that of course there are more ways to earn money that are maybe related to this one or or, or maybe not completely unrelated to this one for example, a lot of you may have ideas for your own products that kind of falls into no-code products category, uh, but our products are basically serving the no-code users and no-code builders. You might build a product that serves completely, you know, everyone or people completely outside of this ecosystem. That's fine too, uh, but there will be like one discovery that we found, uh, and <laughs> at least um, uh, for us, there's basically an asterisk here. Uh, a disclaimer that I'm, 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 I'll explore in a second, but um, you should try all of that. Find something that works for you and try to enhance it with as much additional auxiliary businesses as as you can. Uh, basically, that's uh, that's our recipe. So, let me see if you're still with me, and I haven't completely disconnected before I proceed with the next topic. Uh, how do I get from this one? All right, looks like nobody's complaining. So I'll just, I'm carry on, I'm gonna carry on. All right, so where do you find clients for all these circles, Vlad? Uh, I mean, it's a nice green circle and nice orange circle. So, but what do you actually do? Where do you find customers for it? So of course, this is the next question. After you've created your product or even preferably before you've created one, uh, you would need to plan ahead for where you will search for your potential clients and validate your offering, your idea with them. So, um, and uh, there's obviously a lot of places where you can find clients uh, and it's basically unlimited. You may find a client in a coffee shop. It's maybe a colleague, your relative, uh, you know, your um, uh, the guys from your team or someone, some complete strangers that you meet on meetups, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of ways. It's unlimited and you should explore all of them. But something that did work for us and didn't work for us, is something that I'm going to be sharing with you. So first of all, what didn't really work? So um, as everyone, we have started from developers conferences where startups are um, 
uh, pitching their ideas and they're they're standing with their stands and uh, uh, explaining what their ideas are and uh, and how it's different from uh, from everyone else, etc. 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 So that didn't really work. We have been on a few of these conferences uh, that are always uh, costing a lot of energy. They're not simple and they're a lot of fun, by the way. And uh, you you learn a lot. You learn a lot of you know experience. You gain a lot of contacts. You may find some partners. You may find some other things that are helpful in improving your overall, uh, let's say, performance and status. But don't go to developer conferences with an intention to get leads or clients there. That will probably not work because developer conferences are people are full of people who are either looking to pitch their own ideas or uh, lately looking to invest. So uh, there's not a lot of people actually browsing for a solution on those conferences. There are some, but the chances are that you won't get any. So uh, if you will find some clients in those conferences, that will be a nice bonus, but never actually, I know, bet your money on that. Cold outreach for uh, no-code services and products uh, is something that also didn't really work for us. And uh, we are aware that it doesn't really work for most people. Why is because the mainstream audience, which are millions and millions of people around the world, are still um, pretty much unaware about what really is this no code thing that you keep yapping about. And uh, if people are not really sure about something, that usually that's a no go, uh, meaning that uh, you won't actually sell it to a person that hasn't previously heard about no code or preferably preferably tried it. So, and a person person may may even heard something about it. But in case uh, they they didn't try it or they are, do not know someone that did try it or they're not um, exposed to some very, uh, you know, convincing success story, they'll probably not go with it. Um, and uh, there are some exceptions, obviously. There are people who are early adopters that are ready to go or are, there are other circumstances in which they're pressed with budget money and they're ready to risk it. And those are so-called early adopters and, and visionaries, but they are a minority as compared to most of the uh, clients you will meet. So the chances are you'll run into a mainstream customer rather than running into a visionary or a, an early adopter. So cold outreach is something that doesn't really work for no code just because it's not yet mainstream. Same way traditional pitches, meaning that if you're approaching a person that again, doesn't yet know or didn't yet try no code, regardless of how great is your pitch, it's probably not going to work. So uh, again, because of the skepticism, even if the person eventually matures and he do, does his homework and, and researches and finds that, okay, this thing is actually great, that's gonna take time. So our usual sales cycle is around of, around a month. And, and that's for people who are already you know aware about what no code is. So imagine what it can take for a person to, uh, you know, that is not really sure to kind of go through the whole uh, self-learning cycle. So it will be a lot of time and you can't really bet on that. So uh, next step, again, uh, big companies. This is a bit of an asterisk because there are some exceptions, obviously, and there are some no-code tools which are targeted specifically the big company needs. But uh, with our experience, with our, our tool, which is, you know, able to do pretty much anything, we have found that big companies are slow, uh, they don't want to take risks and, um, and, and they're, again, if, if it's not mainstream, if it's not like the other company that's already using it, the big company is probably going to be a no go. So I wouldn't waste your time trying to pitch it to a big companies. And, uh, most of all skeptics, uh, regardless of where you meet the skeptic in a dev conference, traditional pitch or big company or old outreach, don't spend your time on skeptics. I mean, you don't have time and energy, especially if you're in the beginning of your startup uh, or a company journey to waste energy on people who, you know, want to just argue for the sake of argument, because there's a lot of holes they can poke in your solution or try to poke in your solution or your product. And uh, usually people who are not excited from the very beginning are not your best customer. So don't spend time on them. If a person is skeptical and he doesn't really believe your solution, just, uh, you know, say thank you and move on. So there's a lot of people who are more excited. So don't spend time on this. So where to yes, look for customers um, after all that yapping about where not to look for customers. First and foremost, no code tool communities. What I mean by that is um, each no code tool that you're using, regardless of what it is, Webflow, Bubble, uh, pretty much anything uh, has a no code community in which there mostly are, are developers and creators which are building with that solution already. But there's a lot of customers and people who are genuinely interested and already spend money on it. So this is where people kind of naturally 
go to where they want to learn if the solution for them or not. And usually people who are actually shopping for solutions, they're already mature enough to know the basics and they're already sure that this is something that will work for them. So the legwork for explaining if this is the right solution for them or not is mostly done. So people who are reaching out uh, with ideas in those communities are usually ready, ready to go. So they want to give you their money. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the other question is how much money? Uh, <laughs> and But that's, that's a topic for a different discussion. But basically, you don't need to spend time in actually uh, selling it from the get-go. And that's that's a great that's a great start. So that those will be the people who you want to work with. Twitter. Uh, No-code Twitter is actually hugely expanding. And there's a lot of partnership. And there's a lot of uh, people who would genuinely reach out to you on Twitter with a partnership proposals or, or, or corporation proposals. One way or another, you would want to make yourself visible on Twitter because uh, uh, no code is, you know, let's 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 call it what it is, is uh, no code market is the biggest in the United States. This is where people are, are shopping for solutions the most. This is where people are taking risks the most. And, and this is where you would want to be if in case you're, you're, you want to be a part of this. And um, yeah, this is what we recommend meetups uh but not in a way that uh, uh that makes out initially so you do not necessarily go to a meetup to pitch your stuff and sell it to someone on that meetup no uh on meetup usually you you just uh, connect with um, like-minded people uh, you talk and you find partnerships that later on may reference your product for something big and this is very much related to your next uh our my next uh a, a suggestion is your network basically you would want to expand your network with valuable people who may at some point in time, not necessarily right now, have a an idea that may be suitable for what you're offering. It may be a business idea, maybe a custom development idea or an educational idea, depending on what you're offering. But uh, if in case your network is good, if you, if you have been able to pitch, but not necessarily try to actively sell your stuff, uh, the chances are that you know people will remember you and get back to you and reach out to you. We have a more than a few of those cases when we were just networking, speaking with the right people. And then when the day an opportunity came, um, people reached out to us from all over the world. So definitely recommend it. And last but not least, the RFP streams. So there are a few RFP streams, let's call them that. But basically, those are no code job boards in a way. And there's a lot of those. There are a lot of aggregators. There are a lot of inbuilt um, job boards. For example, Bubble has a tool that's called bubble.io slash RFP, where anyone can send a request. And this request reaches all of the registered no code companies, which is around 100 these days. And you can bet and, and uh, um, talk and, and get those warm almost hot leads for free uh um oh, almost for free uh from these uh from these sources so uh so rather than exploring some cold customers and god knows where uh, just go to the places where people already you know prepared stuff for you so and then there's quite a bit of those all right so this is where you look for customers um uh, last but not least of how do you scale so this is a question that is uh you know uh, something that the investors will be asking you, something that the partners will be asking you, something that you will be asking yourself once you get the initial traction of actually earning some money, either doing consulting, education, products or services, regardless of that, you would want to scale. The chances are that initially there is just one of you or two of you or there's very few of you basically that do most of the things or do everything. So and this is the, the only way to start, probably to validate the idea, to get that initial traction, to get people's feedback uh, to you. But uh, if you would want to grow to something that is beyond uh, a hobby or, or a weekend pastime, you will need to scale, uh, meaning that you will need people on your team, you will need to reach out, you will need to delegate stuff. And how to do that is probably not something that you came here to listen because there's a lot of sources out there on the internet that teach you how to delegate and how do you manage your time and yada, yada, yada. I will probably not spend your attention on that because there's a lot of people who do it better than me, I guess. But uh, what I will tell you uh, is the lessons that we learned the hard way is that you cannot hire a team most of the time. No code, the world uh, is um, a blue ocean in a way that it's, it's a market without the established leaders. It's a market with a lot of unexplored opportunities. And this is that are ripe for the taking. And this is why you would want to be there. This is why you're on this conference. Uh, however, it is also a market where there is almost no talent available uh, out there that is ready to go. So there are some exceptions and there are some people who actually have some experience with the tool of your liking that you may be lucky enough to hire. But most of the times you should be ready that you will not find a person that already knows what you need 
to him to know or do what you would want him to do. So that means that you need to hire, uh, let's say, the character and then build the skill later on. I've, I've heard this quote somewhere and it sounded smart. It doesn't sound that smart when I'm saying it, but uh, the idea is that uh, you would want, want to find people with potential and with genuine interest in what you do, and especially in, in the no code, and then to grow them, to coach them, to teach them, and then they will actually become what is the fundamental of your team. So don't think you will be able to hire a person that has everything he needs to be efficient and kill it from day one. It may happen. If it happens, great. I mean, but it's probably going to be one in a million kind of a, a, a case. Uh, so most of the time you're going to be hiring people with zero knowledge or very little knowledge uh, and then build and train and delegate and uh, stockpile patience to uh, to make sure that you have enough of it for to get people time to grow because this is how it happens in this industry you don't hire a team you grow it so you you, you find people you teach people um and and uh, in a lot of cases that's going to be uh, um uh it's going to be you you'll be saying goodbye to people because it's not for everyone although initially a person may be very passionate about what you do and what it looks like but uh in the end of the day uh when he actually when the rubber meets the road uh, there may be cases where people find out that this is not really for them and that's okay. So you have to let people go. So actively look for people, search for character. Don't expect you will hire someone that is already efficient. Uh, and uh, and yeah, treat them as you would treat your apprentice, I guess. This is basically an apprenticeship business. You don't hire people, you actually train them. So that's, that's how you scale, guys. So uh, I think I'm okay with the timing, mostly. Uh, and uh, yeah. So there's a lot more that we can share, we can tell, and uh, we're, we're always up to something very exciting. So to, to say thank you to me, so to say thank you for being a part of this amazing um, conference, we from Zero Code would want to share with you the um, discount code that you can use in our um, educational courses. We call this platform Zero Code Lab. You may find it if you click on our, if you browse our website and uh, go to zero code lab slash or, or education uh, and uh, you enter this um, coupon on the checkout, you will get 30% off of our lifetime pricing until the 31st of August, which is a few weeks away from now. So you have a lot of time to browse it, check it out. There's a lot of free content there as well. So if you're not sure about it, go ahead and explore. If you want to reach out to me for any of those questions that I have uh, been talking about or pretty much anything else that will be useful for you, feel free to um, hit our social networks. We're at um, Twitter at Zero Code. We're pretty much everywhere at Zero Code, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, Twitter is pretty big on that and we can have an, a nice conversation there. I'm on Twitter as well as Vlad D. Lauren. So hit me up. Um, I'm usually I'm usually pretty uh, pretty open to uh, discussions for people who are genuinely interested. And of course, check out our website at zerocode.com. We have a lot of stuff for everyone, as I mentioned, that I've been talking <laughs> about for the last 30 minutes. Uh, and if nothing else, we'll be happy to share our experience with you and support you in every step of your way. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. This is what I had to tell. This is what uh, I believe and I hope will be useful for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll be happy to answer some questions if there are any. And I'm hoping that I'm not, uh, you know, breaking any timing here. Uh, so Tim, how, how am I doing? Perfect timing, Vlad, an excellent presentation. I love your energy and I love I, I love everything about it, basically. I, I, love, I love how you're mindful of everybody, of me, of the timing, really cool. And we have some awesome feedback actually, not only great questions, but awesome feedback. And I'll start with that because we have five minutes left and okay. we'll, we'll kind of go from the top. So uh, Ice Flame says that, do we have to claim using no code while selling the end result like a mobile app? I think cold outreach is only an issue if, if you explain the how instead of the what. And that's, I think that's a really great point. And it, it's, it's similar with a lot of new technologies that haven't yet been adopted and then have, haven't yet been widely used. I remember when I started working at a blockchain company, it was like, okay, you know, obviously for us, we, we want to say stuff like, oh yeah, blockchain is this distributed ledger technology that works on the basis of this and that. But the, the, the person that you're trying to sell it to, they only, want, they only want to know what's in it for them, right? They only want to know what their benefit is if they decide to go there. 
That's true. Uh, for the end users, if you're selling a product that actually speaks about value of that product, and a lot of cases, in most cases, actually, they wouldn't care if it's made with Java, Ruby, or no code, they, they wouldn't care. Uh, people who do care are people who are actually, let's say, talking about building their own solution with you or people that are looking to invest. So if you're in those conversations about investment or in the conversation about building something uh, for a person, this is where this gets really important. But for the person that really is shopping for a solution, yeah, they don't care. They, they care only about value, about uh, the features normally uh, as, as any one of us would uh, for, for a product that we're shopping for. Awesome, yeah, good point. I think we have some other comments that agree with that sense here. And Archibald West asks, what job offers do you have now if you have any available? Well, yeah, yeah, we're all recruiting. As, just, as I said, we're growing our team all the time. So we're looking for sales people, we're looking for marketing people, we're always looking for web developers slash designers that are familiar or at least interested in learning bubble. So check out zero.com slash jobs. This is where we're uh, you know, sharing all of our stuff or just reach out to us on uh, social networks at uh, twitter.com slash zero code and uh, tell us what you can do and tell us what you're, you're interested in. So there may be something for you, uh, you know, today. Very cool. Uh, we, have some, we have some other comments. We have one that's actually the past live, but I, I remembered it. it was from Edwin. And he asked something like, can we use no code tools to build no code tools, what would you say? Some of them, yes, but it depends. I mean, no code tool is a pretty general term. Yep. Um, we actually have built stuff with Bubble that would literally be creating some other stuff, like creating templates, creating forms, creating a, uh, pages or documents. So you can build that uh, with a no code tool. But if you're speaking about creating a no code builder with a no code builder, then I'm, I'm only, uh, I, I know that Bubble actually was built like that. So Bubble was built using Bubble. So, uh, which is a, you know, kind of a <laughs> interesting story, but a, um, uh, there's another tool that I'm aware of that also has been built, uh, used to build itself. And that's, it's the, the builder tool. So uh, I'm aware about at least these two, uh, there's probably others as well, but, uh, yeah. So these two that I'm definitely aware of a uh, bubble and builder and, uh, I'm, I think that they're, they're great examples that yes, this is possible. Pretty much anything is possible with zero code. Uh, if you ask me. Yep, really great points and some really great feedback and some really great questions. I think we had a, a really nice wholesome discussion here on the subject. Thanks so much, Vlad. This was really, really, really great. It was great to listen to you. I think everybody in the chat agrees that it was a fascinating session. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Thank you, guys. Check out our website and you know, let me know if you have any more questions. And thank you, everyone, for your attention, for your questions, and good luck to you on your no-code journey. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.